guys, sorry if I look totally windswept, but I've just come in because I've had to pop out. So this is the only time I've got to be able to try and do this Slimming World, well it's not Slimming World, just the Christmas tag that was started by the lovely Rachel Bales, 1986. Um, I was tagged by the amazing, beautiful Gemma from Gemma's Journey. If you don't follow her, go check her out, she's amazing love her bunches she's just a pure inspiration so thank you Gemma for tagging me in this video <sighs> and breathe I can tell I literally just walk through the door put my bags of shopping down look not that you can see them all <laughs> pop them down and now I can't blow my breathe Whew. so I'm gonna have to whiz through this as quick as I can because I really don't have time I've got a lot of stuff to sort out today I've got housework wrapping shopping's put away Dog for a walk, it's just started raining. <laughs> I've got it all going on, but I have done my Christmas cards, so that's a something. So I'm just gonna go through these as quick as I can for my Vlogmas. Day eight, day eight, we're past a week, guys. We are past the week. So I've got them written down here, my questions. So I'm just gonna go off them and I haven't thought about them or anything, so I'm just gonna read them and answer them. So if the door goes in a minute, because Craig's come back, so I've got to get up and leave me. So I'm going to try and do this as quick as I can before he interrupts me because he likes to do that a lot, let's be honest. So, favourite Christmas song. My favourite Christmas song is, um, is it Wham that sings it? George Michael, Last Christmas. You know, last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. This year to save me from tears. I'll give it to someone special. That's my childhood favourite one anyway, but at the moment I'm loving, I don't know who sings it, I can't remember, but you know that, I'm coming, driving home for Christmas. Chris Brio or something? I don't know, I've just been obsessed with watching the Gavin and Stacey Christmas, so that song at the minute is just amazing, loving it, and it's like my song to my daddy as well because of driving home for Christmas. She really like it, so yeah. Favourite Christmas film has to be Home Alone. <laughs> I've got so many favourite Christmas movies. It's Home Alone and Mickey's Christmas Carol. I really can't pick between them two because they're just my favourite childhood Christmas movies, even though I have a bunch. They're my fave, my all-time fave. Favourite Christmas memory. My favourite Christmas memory is when I was younger, and it was all the time while I was younger, every Christmas when I was a kid and with my cousins as well. We used to go to the pantomime, like it was proper cheesy pantomime, but when you're a kid you don't realise, but we used to go there, we used to get dressed up in our Christmas jumpers and everything after Christmas dinner and opening presents and just sit there with my cousins while the parents went off and did whatever it was they were doing and then the parents would come back when it was finished, we'd all sit around together playing with our new toys and they'd have a drink and whatnot and we'd have our squash or our coke and we'd just, yeah. I also just love going to the pantomime. I got to go again for the first time uh, last year with my daddy Kins and my Melinda to watch uh, Jack and the Beanstalk and I blooming loved it. Gutted I can't go again this year but I love it. That's my favourite, favourite Christmas memory. I just, I love it. It's just nice. So yeah, I loved that last year. Do I have an advent calendar? Yes, I do. I have two. I have a... Um, Galaxy one, which is two sins per chocolate, and I have a Air Pure one, which is tea light candles, which I share with my nan and granddad who passed away, as you can see behind. Got like a little angel candle holder there, so when I take it out of an evening, I'll pop it in there and I'll light it for them so I can share Christmas with them. Uh, whew, I really can't breathe. Uh, favourite Christmas ornament? <laughs> I don't really have a favourite Christmas ornament to be honest because I've had to buy all new ones <laughs> if you watch my previous vlogs you'll realise that a load of stuff was missing out to buy them all again but probably it'd be my nan and granddad's angel um, and it's not just a Christmas ornament but I use it all the time for like birthdays, anniversaries, Christmases, Easter just special moments that I want to share with them I light a candle with them so it's probably that angel there to be honest uh, when does my tree go up? well <laughs> This year it went up late for me, it went up um, a couple of weeks ago. I usually put it up at the end of November. I would push it if I could. If I could get away with putting it up in November, at the beginning of November, it would be up, but a lot of people moan at me. So I thought I'd wait till after my mum's birthday this year. So her birthday was the 20th of November. So day after her birthday, it went up. It was Christmas in here. 
Oh yeah, oh, the sooner the better. Not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, Christmas traditions. I don't really have any now. I've gotten older because I don't have kids, so it's just yeah. When I'm at my dad's, it's different. When I'm at home, I don't really have a tradition. But I'll um, I like to you know at Christmas Eve just sit down with a nice hot chocolate, get comfy, watch a Christmas movie, probably Home Alone. Um, get my Christmas pajamas on after having a nice bubble bath and just chill out and eat Toblerone and quality streets but when I'm at dad's it's just basically the same but with a lot of other stuff added on because my dad likes to be prepped for everything everything so yeah I don't really have one at the moment but yeah it is what it is from there I just do what I want <laughs> uh, Brussels sprouts yes or no yes Love my Brussels sprouts. Love, 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 love Brussels sprouts. And the Brussels sprout soup, the Slimming Wild Brussels sprout soup. If you haven't tried that, guys, try it out because my goodness, game changer. So blooming nice. But Brussels sprouts are my Christmas dinner. Pile them on. Yes, please. Yes, please. My daddy Kins is doing Brussels sprouts for Christmas. I've, I've, it's been confirmed. Um, mince pies, yes or no? Yes. <laughs> An even bigger yes. I never tried mince pies until the first time last year. My mum finally convinced me to try mince pie uh, with cream and I tried it and I loved mince pie and now if I see a mince pie, oh, I have to have one. I haven't had any yet this year, I don't know how it's happened. I've managed to say no, but I don't want to say no anymore. So if someone offers me a mince pie now, oh, I'm having a mince pie. I can't wait to have a mince pie. I might have to get some very, very soon, but yes, big, big yes to mince pies. My favourite ones are from Aldi, by the way. They're so nice. Cheap and cheerful but so, so nice, and they're all soft, and ooh, I need to go and get me a mince pie. <laughs> I've just come back from Aldi as well. Oh, well, it down, baby, well, it down. Uh, what Christmas dinner like? My Christmas dinner at home is just a big fat Sunday dinner, basically, but with a turkey. However, Christmas dinner at my dad's house is a completely different story. It is amazing. He which is what I'm going to be having again this year. Obviously, the Brussels sprouts, I've just said. But he'll cook his turkey and everything the night before. He'll be the bacon and the butter and the olive oil and everything else. He'll prep it all. The house just smells of turkey. All Christmas Eve, it just smells of turkey. Buttery, nice turkey. And then uh, Christmas Day, he'll do his, like, you know, his roasts and his vegetables and everything. He'll do his roast potatoes. I think it's in goose fat he does it in. They are the best roast potatoes ever. And he'll do like all the veg and everything else and all that. And before that, he'll do you a starter and you get like your main and then you get your pudding. I think starter this year will be a soup, but he makes his own soup. You don't buy the tinned ones. Last year was um, mushroom soup and my God, it was B-E-A, a beautiful. It was so nice. So nice. So yeah. And then he'll, uh, for Christmas dinner, he'll bring you your soup and stuff at the table and whatnot. And then we'll all like, like sit around the table and then for dinner, he puts it all in them trays, you know, the metal trays that keep everything warm. I can't think of the name of them. My, my dad's watching this, he's probably telling me off right back now, but sorry, Dad. But he puts them all in the trays and everything. You just go along, you know, all the meat's there, the veggies there, the gravy's at the end in the little gravy bowl, and you just scope it all on, you know, the pigs in blankets and everything, and you pile your plate. I mean, you have to pile your plate, because if there's, if there's food left in, my well, dad's not a happy chappy, so you have to go back, you have to eat all this food not complaining the stuffing everything it's just all there and then you put your your meat on as well you usually just two lots of meat i think he does like gammon and turkey obviously turkey or it's something or beef some form something anyway i can't remember what he says he tells me so much stuff but i get excited <laughs> so but i will vlog anyway so you will see christmas dinner guys don't panic you have to see more dad's ding dings because it's the bees knees and then you just pile it up go sit down munch on your food Hashtag a winning, a winning uh, Christmas drink. I don't really have a Christmas drink. If I had to pick one, it'd probably be Bailey's. It's gonna sound weird, but Malibu and pineapple. <laughs> I really like Malibu and pineapple because I don't drink. So when I do, my favourite drink is Malibu and pineapple, and Christmassy drink is Bailey's. Just the normal Bailey's, not the mint Bailey's or anything. I don't like anything mint because it's like drinking or eating something after you've brushed your teeth so I don't do like after eights or anything like that either uh, but yeah so I'm gonna be getting some Malibu and some pineapple to take down with me to my dad so that me and Linda can have some sneaky little Malibu and dad can have some if he wants some as well because I know he likes pineapple but I'm not sure if he likes Malibu uh, but yeah I think Aldi do their own pie, uh, 
Baileys as well. No, they do their own Malibu. I checked it today. It's only £4.25. Nice. Um, they do the Baileys. My mum told me, but I don't know how much it is. I, didn't, I couldn't see that. There was too many people today. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, so they're my favourite drinks. Uh, Chris, I don't know, can't even read my own writing, guys. Uh, real, real or artificial tree? Artificial. I'd love to have a real tree, but one, I've got no space in my tiny little flat. <laughs> and two, I don't want all the bits on the floor. And I know me, I'll stand on them and <laughs> I'll probably cry and not pay attention and stab my toes and stuff. So, no. When does my tree go down? My tree goes down the day after New Year's day so we'll have like new christmas and all that sort of stuff and then we'll have new year's new year's eve new year's day day after new year's day i'll take it down and then get excited and wait and hope that i can put it up again very soon <laughs> so yes that is my christmas question tag so thank you rachel for starting it and thank you Gemma, for tagging me i'm assuming because i'm late to doing this now that everybody has been tagged already so I don't know who to tag because I'm assuming everyone's been tagged. So if you've been tagged already, then I apologise and just ignore me. <laughs> but if you want to do this video and you haven't been tagged, then please do it and let me know so I can go and watch it and have a little look. So I'm going to say Laura Rebecca, if she can do it, um, then that would be awesome. Laura Rebecca SW, I think that is, or it's just Laura Rebecca now. Uh... I really can't think of anyone that wouldn't have been tagged, to be honest. I was going to say, Lisa Snow, if you're watching, lovely, then I would love to see yours because you're awesome as well. It's just nice to see everyone's little traditions and things. Uh, and last but not least, I'm sure they would have been tagged. I'm, I'm pretty much 100% positive. Um, not that I've seen it or anything yet because I've got to check through my videos, but I can't not do a tag video and not tag my lovely, lovely ladies, Laura, Laura and Kath from the Budget Slimmers. You've probably already done it guys and sorry if you have but I can't do a tag video and not tag my lovely ladies because you're my girl pals so I got her. So yeah, if you have been tagged any of you guys I just mentioned I'm sorry but I'll tag you anyway. <laughs> if you've already done it then don't worry and if you want to do it, do it and let me know. So thank you for watching, I hope this Vlogmas Day 8 tag was okay for you guys. Let me know anything you've got to say in the comments down below and I'll reply when I can. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, by the way, please do. It's the same name as my YouTube channel, Vicky Simkis underscore SW. I've started adding more things on there now. I'm trying to get into my Insta a bit more and Insta stories and whatnot. So if you don't, go and have a look over there as well. So thanks for watching. Love you all bunches and I'll see you all tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 9.